First off, tell us about uh, where you committed and why you committed. Uh, I committed to Central Michigan University and uh, it really just felt like the place for me. You know, I really liked the staff and I really enjoyed the city, Mount Pleasant. It just felt like home to me. What is it about uh, their defense that makes you a good fit? Uh, just my explosiveness, really. My first two steps and they really enjoyed that. So that's what I think will be the key factor. Uh, where do they say they're recruiting you? Are you playing on the inside like a D tackle or on the outside as a DN? Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll eventually be interior tackle most likely. So tell me about the recruiting process. When did they start talking to you and what was that process like leading up to you committing? Oh uh, well it was early in the year I think if I remember correctly it was January and uh, uh, my recruiting coach came out to the school and he talked to, talked to me and Coach Zolman and uh, after that I was working out and they just gave me a call and then they just offered me a scholarship. Uh, what were some other schools that were looking at you and that had thrown some, some offers maybe your way? Uh, Eastern Michigan, Ball State, and Ohio. So a lot of Mac schools were looking? Yeah. Um, as far as you go, what's it going to take? What kind of pressure does it take off you leading up to your senior year that kind of can allow you to just enjoy that senior year knowing that you know, you've got the future uh, all planned out? Well, it just relieves a lot of stress on me and my family because, uh, like, you know, camping, that's really stressful. You got to uh, take trips everywhere. And uh, just making my decision and being able to focus on my senior year and what, we, what I have ahead of me. What did they identify in you that they liked about your game, about the way you play? Uh, really, they said my motor, and uh, I just play all game. For you, um, Central Michigan, talk about their football program and what you see the future uh, at CMU being like. Uh, I can see uh, developing, uh, like turning the corner, actually. They said uh, they're trying to start a new era of uh, players, and we can just try to continue that. For you, um, what was the moment like when you verbally committed to them? Because, you know, that's kind of when you, in a certain degree, uh, become a college football player, which I imagine is kind of like a dream for you. Yeah, it was really exciting, and uh, it was kind of like fulfilling my dreams. I've always wanted to play Division One football. It was really a great moment for me and my family. Um, since you stepped on this Homestead campus as a freshman, where have you improved the most? And, you know, as a freshman coming in, did you think, okay, I can be a Division One college football player at some point? Uh, it was always a dream, but I knew I had to step up in lots of areas and like my, in the weight room and on the field and learning my new technique and all just becoming a better football player. What was it about Homestead that prepared you to be able to play on the next level? Um, the coaches and I would say it was just a whole nother level because I moved in from uh, Kokomo. It was just a different playing field when I moved here. A lot of uh, D Division One athletes around me like Ben Skoranek and just looking up to them and seeing like uh, like that's what I wanted to be. So when did you move in from Kokomo? Oh, uh, my freshman year. Okay, so high school here, freshman year was your first time here yeah. in Fort Wayne. Yeah. Um, final question for me, when you take a look back um, at, at what you've been able to accomplish, what are you most proud of here at Homestead? Um, just the culture and being just uh, assimilating to the culture and learning new things and just becoming a better football player.